you know, the Xbox has had its fair share of good news, it's had its fair share of bad news, and, you know, it even gets some great news every now and again. I find this to be pretty interesting stuff myself. I'm not a type of person that really uh, kind of looks too down on, on the things that are happening in a console generation, but, you know, let's just be real, Xbox needs as many wins as it can get. When I first saw the Xbox Series X, I was like, man, this looks like a great console. I'm a type of person who doesn't really like change so you know seeing that it was going to be very much the same ui and things like that as the xbox one that was something that i kind of liked you know i thought maybe if it did have a new ui it could have possibly attracted more people uh, but at the end of the day you know it was still a very powerful console but was losing a lot of the face-offs to the ps5 despite the fact that the series x is staggeringly more powerful than the ps5 and it just is right the, the compute units the the gigabytes per second bandwidth all that stuff it's just really really a console that should be running circles around the ps5 and yet it wasn't so now we have a sort of a situation where you know people are kind of kind of noticing this and you know maybe the xbox series x is coming into its own maybe we'll start to get people that use it up to its true ability because the ps5 pro is out and to be honest with you the ps5 pro is only just now matching some of the features that the series x has so this could be a really good thing i want to get into it i want to hear what you guys think as well i'm crap gamer and this is of course crap gamer reviews back with another video i do daily gaming content so go ahead and slap that like button uh let me know what you guys like to see uh you can you guys can subscribe that would be fantastic it really helps the channel grow uh, i try to be informative i try to be a little bit entertaining as well so keep that in mind so one of the biggest games going right now is warhammer space marine 2 and looks like it's really impressive on xbox series x but is kind of lagging behind with the playstation 5 uh, digital foundry did some comparisons here and nice to see the xbox come out on top uh, warhammer space marine 2 is out pitting you as a defender of imperium against hordes of uh tyranids and space marine chaos ensues the game has been well received by all accounts following its initial preview outing but it also appears a bit of a curveball when it comes to the usual balance of power between the playstation 5 and the xbox series x so you know we have to keep that in mind when we look at these things and say you know listen the ps5 had been really kind of taking advantage of you know everything that it had and and now we see that the xbox series x is finally starting to get its fair share of um you know accolades and things like that so hopefully we see you know this continuing to be the case uh kind of going forward in my opinion anyway uh or at least you know listen i get it the xbox series x isn't going to beat the ps5 pro but at the very least we could get great versions on the xbox series x and um uh, you know again it's, it's really cool to see with 30 frames per second and 60 frames modes on the table the optimal way to play how is that well how do ps5 and series x compare and how is the series s version first of all on ps5 and series x you have a choice of 30 frames quality or 60 frames speed mode while series s locks you at 30 frames per second experience at settings largely familiar uh similar to the actual speed mode though the settings differences are incredibly minor all things considered in quality mode on the premium consoles expect a dynamic resolution uh, from 1080p to 1440p scaled to uh, 4k with fsr2 while speed mode has a lower internal resolution in the push to 60 frames ranging from 720p to 1080p with the fsr2 upscale to 4k series s has the same internal resolution range 720p to 1080p but scales to 14 40p instead a common outpoint resolution for the machine now at 30 frames both ps5 and series x managed to deliver an exceptionally strong performance with only slight frame rate hitches during the camera cutscenes and the odd blip as a dynamic resolution system springs into action uh, in balance the gpu load series s isn't quite as perfect while it drops to around 26 frames that aren't seen in other consoles but the experiences is still quite playable in testing Space Marine 2 on PC, it's clear that the game's encounter with Alien Swarms pushes the CPU hard, and at least as of patch 1.02, now that results in a lopsided performance on consoles in the 60 frames per second speed mode. The Series X typically outperforms PS5 by around 10 to 15 frames per second, 
Despite both machines using the same settings and resolution targets, the lowest drops come when taking a flamethrower to the encroaching horde, where the PlayStation 5 drops to the mid-30s, while the Xbox Series X hovers around 50. So, you know, again, here we are, we have a situation where Xbox Series X is finally punching where it should be, and this game is sort of taking a a hit on the cpu side of things uh when it comes to the console but it is really cool to see that you know all this kind of stuff is happening the way that it is happening uh you know and not only is it uh, a good thing but you know i think that finally people are starting to get the handle on xbox series x and to me that is a great thing you know uh, i i hate to be that guy but yeah you know it's like we bought into this thing and so far it hasn't exactly been one of those things that that shines you know i mean it shined in certain areas but certainly not in outperforming the playstation 5. so anyway as well as having a higher average frame rate the xbox version also benefits from the platform's wider vrr window of 40 to 60 hertz versus 48 to 60 hertz on ps5 combined with the higher average frame rates you get noticeably smoother output on VRR compatible displays. That makes Space Marine 2 much easier to recommend on Microsoft's box than on Sony's machine for those with the luxury of a choice, though neither delivers what they'd call close to a lock 60 frames. Dips are a little bit common in the campaign, especially in the enemy account climbs. For that reason, the stability and increased fidelity of the 30 frames per second quality mode is worth considering. They have seen similar performance differentials in both uh, directions in the past, with some games running better on PS5 while others on Series X, but it's possible that the PS5 version could be improved by performance-focused patch in the future. Given the dynamic resolution scaling is in play, increasing performance could also boost image quality in less demanding scenes where the consoles already hit 60 frames per second. So again, um, you know, it's just one of those things that realistically uh, kind of happens, you know, from time to time we see Xbox finally getting some kind of good uh, things out of this and you know that's an exciting prospect in my opinion you know nice to see that this stuff is happening the way that it is and you know again we'll see where this all lands you know and i think i think in the future obviously no matter what uh if you're xbox you have to kind of land in a positive space and you know people have to have a reason to buy your box right and it's like if you're playing games worse despite being a more powerful platform that just goes to show that people aren't really taking your console and your platform seriously and that's a real problem and could be a real problem for xbox in the future if you know they don't really get this stuff sorted out because i really do feel like you know that's the things that that they need to kind of get going in e kind of a right direction and you know again that's on microsoft solely right like they're the ones that have to do that it's not like oh well we go um you know we we go to the situation where um you know all these different things are happening and and all these things are are kind of happening you know we want we want xbox to be successful we want microsoft to be successful we want all of these different um platforms to be successful and you know at the same time we kind of live in this weird world where you know xbox is a powerful platform but they're not getting the things that they need to entice people over you know and then when they do uh it's like you know they they're quickly announce it for you know playstation 5 or whatever it's like the things that could potentially move the needle your indiana jones is your blade uh you know those type of things doom um those things could potentially you know change things but you know when you look at it um you, you know we kind of look at these things and we go um you know what could exactly happen in the future uh you know i i, I don't really know you know like microsoft are the ones that are going to have to um figure out what people want and and figure out what people are going to uh kind of look at in the future you know when they when they go okay well why should i get an xbox 
well, clearly it's going to have to be because, you know, hey, there's some exclusives in there as well. Uh, but I think, you know, Microsoft has to figure out a better way to appeal to the common consumer. So I don't know. What do you guys feel about this, though? Because I feel like, you know, again, it could go either way, you know, I, but I am thankful that, uh, you know, we are starting to see Xbox kind of punch above its weight and, and punch where it should for a change. Let me know what you guys think. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, you know, again, uh, it's been great. Thanks for watching. Rack them up, fact them up, crap gamer them up, crap gamer out.